Welcome back. This is really neat. Chris Razor with the Discovery Science Place brought a piece of the moon with him this <laughs> Good morning. morning. How are you? I'm doing great. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. So we have a lot going on. Discovery Science Place this we year. We do. It is a busy time of year for us. Spring break is coming up this next week. So the, the first thing we want to talk about is spring break camps all week. Anytime school is out, we usually have camps yeah. going on. So all five days next week, these are day camps. So the subject changes every day. And we're doing everything from chemistry to space to engineering. And you can send your kid for a single day, just say Monday or Wednesday, or they could come all five days. And these are all pretty interactive things that you have going on as well, right? Absolutely. We try to make sure that everything is hands on, that the kids get to, yeah. to have a good fun time. They also get free time in the museum. But uh, this spring break, we have a lot of guest speakers coming in. Like we do have one day that's dedicated to animals. We have the Caldwell Zoo that's coming to visit us. We have a day that's dedicated to science and art, and we have a local artist that's going to be coming in. And so we oftentimes have guest speakers come in to kind of uh, help us with the particular subjects to teach the kids something new. This is neat. So you have a theme for each different day. So Absolutely. do people need to sign up separately for each day or just the whole week in a they, whole? They can do either. Oh. Each day is a separate camp during spring break because the subjects change every day. So you can send your kid just to a single day, but you could also sign up for, for multiple days. And we have two age groups. We have a K through third, which fills up very fast. As a matter of fact, it may be full at this point. Yeah. But we also have an older age group, say fourth, fifth, and sixth grade. And I know we still have some openings for that. And we have some great activities planned. This is so much fun. Okay, so what activities are they? can they expect? I'm, I'm assuming this is one of the... Yes, so on Space Day, of course, uh, something very rare that um, most people just don't get the option to do is to take a look at a piece of the moon like we have here. This is a, a moon rock that was collected as part of a sample collection for Apollo 17. It was the last mission to the moon in December of 1972. And so we get to borrow artifacts like this from NASA on occasion. I get to borrow this one and we'll have it on display at the museum throughout this summer. And then it will have to go back to NASA. I mean, this is such a rare opportunity that you get, I'm, that you get to see this up it close. Is. Yeah, a sample this size, this is about a quarter of a pound and it came from a rock that was originally about 12 pounds in size. Wow. These are pretty rare. Uh, they will only loan them out to say educational institutions or museums. And it's one of the few items from NASA that I actually have to drive to down to Houston to pick up and courier back. They won't send them through FedEx or UPS. Uh, it's an item that's basically priceless because if it were to be lost or damaged, how could we potentially replace it? Yeah, and so you drove all the way down amazing. to Houston to get this baby. Worth so it. This is, oh, this is worth it. Oh, worth we have it. a video behind us. See, Absolutely. look at those smiling faces. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> So this is kind of just a little sneak peek of what they can expect at spring break. I mean, they Absolutely. have so much fun at these camps. They do. And what's good about the camps is that not only do we have the camp activities going on, but then they do get free time in the museum as well. Yeah. So everyone gets a little bit of free time just to uh, play and, and have, have a good time in the museum itself. Chris, this is a big year for you too. It is. It's our 25th anniversary. It's, it's hard to believe. It's but awesome. The, the museum's been open since 1993. So this is our 25th year and we're celebrating that. We're gonna have some great activities coming up. I also have uh, some great information about what's coming this summer that I'll share a little bit later. But we have a free birthday party that we're gonna do April 7th. That's okay. gonna be free admission. April so 7th. April 7th, that's when we're gonna celebrate the birthday of the DSP. And then we have Maker Fair coming up April 28th. Right, and, and those are all your summer camps, right? No, these are oh. just individual activities apart oh. from summer camps. Oh, okay, so gosh. And then we have summer camps in the summer, and then we have a special exhibit coming in the summer that uh, I'll come back a little bit later to tell you more about that. A lot of surprises yes. going on. lots of activity to celebrate our anniversary. And you get to see a piece of the moon. That's this right. Is awesome, Chris. Thank you so much for joining us. You're very welcome.